Hi everyone, this is Aniket from Class 8 Taurus, and today I am here to talk on the history of Olympic Games. So, from where did Olympic Games start? It started in Athens, Greece, in 1896, and on April 6, 1896, the Olympic Game, which is a long lost tradition of ancient Greece, was reborn in Athens 1500 years ago after being banned from the Roman Emperor. And at the opening of the Athens game, King Georgius won and Greece had a crowd of 60,000 spectators welcomed, welcomed athletes from 13 nations to the international competition. The events which took place in the first Olympic Games were athletics, cycling, fencing, gymnastics, shooting, swimming, tennis and weightlifting. The Olympic Games originated long ago in ancient Greece, as I said, and was held in uncertain circumstances. However, the game was a direct outgrowth of values and benefits of Greek society. The first written records of ancient Olympic Games dates back to 776 BCE, when a cook named Cronobus won the event, a 192-meter foot race called the state, to become the first Olympic champion. However, it is generally believed that the games have been going for many years by the time. So the history of the time when it started is is uncertain. But one thing is sure, that is, this event is one of the most enjoyed. Thank you. Good day to everyone. My name is Aravinda Blas from Grade 8 Taurus and this is the history of the Olympics. The Olympic Games, which originated in ancient Greece as many as 3000 years ago, were revived in the late 19th century and have become the world's preeminent sporting competition. From the 8th century BC to the 4th century AD, the Games were held every four years in Olympia, located in the western Penelope's Peninsula in honor of the god Zeus. The first modern Olympics took place in 1896 in Athens and featured 280 participants from 13 nations competing in 43 events. Since 1994, the first written records of the ancient Olympic Games date to 776 BC when a cook named Coribus won the only event, a 192-meter foot race called the Stade to become the first ever Olympic champion. However, it is generally believed that the Olympic Games have been going on for many years at that time. Ancient Olympics were held every four years between August 6th and September 19th during a religious festival honoring Zeus. The Games, named for their location in Olympia, was a sacred site located near the western coast of Penelope's Peninsula in southern Greece and their influence was so great that the ancient historians began to measure time by the four years increment in between Olympic Games which were known as Olympiads. In 648 BC, Pancration, a combination of boxing and wrestling with virtually no rules, debuted as Olympic events. Participation in the ancient Olympic Games was initially limited to free-born male citizens of Greece, and there were no women's events, and at the same time, married women were prohibited from attending the competition. Now let's talk about the decline and the revival of the Olympics traditions. After the Roman Empire conquered Greece in the mid-2nd century BC, the games continued, but the standards and qualities declined. In one notorious example from AD 67, the descendant Emperor Nero entered an Olympic chariot race only to disgrace himself by declaring himself the winner even after he fell off his chariot during the event. In AD 393, Emperor Theodosius the I called for a ban on all pagan festivals and ending the Olympic tradition after nearly 21 centuries. Because of this, it took another 1,500 years before the Olympic Games would rise again, largely thanks to the efforts of Baron Pierre de Coubertin of France. Dedicated to the promotion of physical education, the young baron became the inspiration inspired by the idea of creating a modern Olympic game after visiting the ancient Olympic sites. In November 1892, 
at a meeting at the Union des Sports Athletiques in Paris, Coubertin proposed the idea of reviving Olympics as an international athletic competition held every four years. Two years later, he got the approval he needed to found the International Olympic Committee, which would become the governing body of the modern Olympic Games. The Olympics truly took off as an international sporting event after 1924 when the 8th Games were held in Paris. Some 3,000 athletes with more than 100 women among them from 44 nations competed that year. And for the first time, the Games featured a closing ceremony. The Winter Olympics debuted that year including such events as figure skating, ice hockey, bobsledding and the bathalon. 80 years later, when the 2004 Summer Olympics returned to Athens for the first time in more than a century, nearly 11,000 athletes from a record 201 countries competed in a gesture that joined both ancient and modern Olympics tradition. The short put competition that year was held at the site of the classical games at Olympia. Hope everyone enjoyed this video. This is Aravind Abhilash signing off. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ash Shikhar. I'm from class 8 Taurus. So today I'm going to say our four best Olympic players So first one is Frederick Carton Lewis. He was born on July 1st, 1961. He is 15 years old. And he is from US. He is good at uh, athletics. Uh, he part uh, he uh, participated in 100 meters, 200 meters, long jump, 4 into 100 meter rally. And, and his club name is Santa Monica Track Club. And he retired in 1997. Now we'll look on his medals. So in Olympic Games, he got first position nine times, second position one time, and third he never got third position. And there are many other events also, but I'll just say in total. Totally for first position he got 22 times, second position he got three times, and third position also three times. And in the events, meaning the sport, athletics, uh, the 100 meter, 200 meter, 4 into 100 meter rally, long jump, uh, I'll say the places he got. So in, uh, in 100 meters, first position he got 5 times, second position 1 time, third position 1 time. And in 200 meters, first position 1 time, second position 1 time, third position 1 time. And 4 into 100 meter rally, he got first position 8 times and he never got second or third. And in long jump, first position he got 8 times and second uh, 1 and long, uh, third uh, 1. So next, we will go to another person. His name is Christopher Andrew Ho. He is good at cycle he's a cycle racer so um, he was born on tw uh, 23rd march 1976 he's 44 years old he's from scotland so now i'm going to say about the event like uh, the medals so in olympic games he got six times first position one time second and third he never got third position and there are many other um, events also uh, but i'll say in the total for first position he got 19 times, second position 9 times, and third position 9 times. So third is Mark Edu Spins. He is from United States. He was born on February 10, 1950. His sport is swimming. He is very good, uh, he's, uh, he's very good at butterfly and freestyle. His club is Edwin Hill Swim Club. And uh, about his um, medal. He got in Olympic Games. He got nine times first position, sec, uh, for, and sec, in second position he got one time, and third position also one time. And totally he got twenty four times first position, second position one time, and third position one time. So now coming to the last, Vijay Kumar. He's from India. He's good in shooting. He's a shooter, and he's uh, he worked in Indian Army. And his awards are Padma Sri, Ati Vishit Seva Medal and Sena Medal. And he even participated in the Olympic Games. Thank you.
Hi all, today I'm going to be talking about the top 4 Olympic players. First up, Jesse Owens. James Cleveland Jesse Owens was an American track and field athlete and a four-time gold medalist in the 1936 Olympic Games. Owens specialized in the sprints and the long jump and was recognized in his lifetime as perhaps the greatest and most famous athlete in track and field history. Next, Michael Phelps. Michael Fred Phelps is an American former competitive swimmer and the most successful and most decorated Olympian of all time, with a total of 28 medals. Phelps also holds an all-time record for Olympic gold medals, all of them gold medals in individual events and Olympic medals in individual events. Next, Larissa Lipsky. Larissa Samyona Latina is a former Soviet artistic gymnast. Between 1956 and 1964, she won 14 individual Olympic medals and 14 medals. She holds the record for the most Olympic gold medals by a gymnast, male or female, with none. Her total of 18 Olympic medals was a record for 48 years. And last, Hussein Bolt. Hussein Saint Leo Bolt is a Jamaican former sprinter widely considered to be the greatest sprinter of all time. He is a world record holder in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and the 400 meters. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Sayyid Ali. Today I am going to be talking about the countries that have hosted the Olympic Games. Um, interesting facts of the Olympic Games. The first ever Olympic Games was held in Olympia, Greece in the 18th BC. 8th BC. Modern Olympic Games were resurrected in 1896 in Athens, Greece. It is the biggest sporting uh, event. It is held after every four years. 2020 uh, Olympic Games was postponed to 2021. Why? Because there are certain uh, uh, historic events that uh, postpone the Olympic Games due to some reasons. Um, New Tokyo, the now Tokyo has been uh, postponed and it is now being held in 2021, July 23rd. Here is a chart of the history in Olympic Games. In 1896, Athens, Greece. Um, this was the first time Olympic Games had ever been held. Next is 1900 in Paris, France. And then four years later, St. Louis in USA. Um, then uh, London, England. Uh, London had gotten a chance of uh, showing their talent of sports. Uh, 1912, it was uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Next is in 1916. This was not held because of the World War I. In 1920, Antwerp, Belgium. And in 1924, Paris, France. Um, this is the second time Paris, uh, France had gotten the opportunity of uh, hosting the Olympic Games. 1928, Amsterdam, uh, Amsterdam Netherlands. Um, then the, the chance went on uh, back to USA Los Angeles again second time of the uh, that they uh, hosted the Olympic Games and uh, next is, was in 1936 Berlin Germany in the Berlin Germany this Olympic Games was the last before the World War II that's why in 1940 and 1944 there were no Olympic Games and was very uh, was very big and nice for the people because they had been stressed and they had been in a very bad mood because of the World War II. 1952 Helsinki, Finland and in 1956 Melbourne, Australia. Then we move on to 1960, four years later um, in Rome, Italy and then in 1964 Tokyo, Japan. Uh, next, Mexico City, Mexico uh, got a chance of uh, showing their sporting uh, 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 capabilities to the world. 
Next, next is 1972, Munich uh, was Germany. Then uh, it was given the chance, uh, the Olympic Games gave a chance to Canada in, 19, in 1976. In 1980, Moscow, USSR got the chance of hosting the Olympic Games. 1984, Los Angeles, USA. This is the third time that Olympic Games was hosted by USA. And then in 1988, four years later, Seoul, Korea. And then 1992, Barcelona, Spain. And then in 1996, Atlanta, USA. Again, USA, fourth time that they had held the um, Olympic Games. And then we move on to 2000 in Sydney, Australia. 2008 in Beijing, China. And 2012 to London, England. This is the third time that London, England had gotten a chance. In 2016, Rio de Janeiro to Brazil and 2020, Tokyo, Japan. This, uh, this event was postponed due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and now is uh, moved on to 2021. The first event of the Olympics. Um, the first event of the Olympics was held in Athens, Greece, uh, uh, April 6 to April 15th in 1896 in Athens. Uh, the second Olympic event, the event of the, uh, it, is held, it was held in Paris, France and the event went on from May 14, 1900 to October 28, 1900. Um, the next Olympic Games was held in 1904 in St. Louis, Missouri, United States of America. Um, this event went on from July 1st of 1904 to, to November 3rd of 1904. Uh, multi-event hosting nations. Um, France had gotten the chance of uh, hosting the uh, Olympic Games twice. Uh, once in uh, France had gotten the chance of uh, hosting the uh, Olympic Games twice. Uh, once in 1900 and 1924. Greece, li Greece likewise had gotten the chance of uh, hosting it two times. Once in 1896 and next one in 2004. Um, uh, like these two countries, Japan also got a chance of hosting it twice in 1964 and 2021 that is upcoming. Australia again twice 1956 and 2000. Uh, but England other than the four countries had gotten the chance of hosting it three times 1908, 1948 and 2012. Now USA. USA is a got the uh, chance of showing it four times: 1904, 1932, 1984, and 1996. On a personal note, me, I got the opportunity of visiting the 1994 event, 1996 event, sorry, of the the memorial place, if you can say. Um, and it was an amazing experience. I visited here in 2017. It was in Centennial Park. Um, and thank you. Thank you. Good evening, my friends. My name is Vinay Suresh, and I'm studying in Trey Venus. Today, I'm going to tell about swimming. This is my swimming pool. Swimming is an individual or team racing sports. Entire body to move through water. Types of swimming. Freestyle, backstroke, butterfly, breaststroke. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello everyone, I am Jitin from Grade 3, Virgo. I am, uh, I made this basketball, I made this basketball court. Good. So now, I am going to say about the basketball, basketball history of basketball. The history of basketball begins with its, its invention in 1891 in Springfield, Massachusetts by Canadian Physical Education Instructor James as a less injury 
bronze sport than football. He created this indoor sport to keep athletes indoor during the winter. The game became established fairly quickly and grew very popularly as the 20th century. First in America, then and then in other parts of the world. Rules of basketball. The winner of uh, a basketball game is the team with the most points. You get points by throwing the ball uh, through the opponent's hoop or basket. In our age, in regularly in regularly played a basket made from within the three point line in uh, three point line is worth two points and a and a basket shot from outside the three point line is worth three points when when sh shooting a free throw each free throw is worth one point the basketball team on offense is the team with the basket the team of defense is the team without the ball players can players can cannot kick the ball or hit it with their fist no players can touch the ball while it is traveling down through the basket or if it is not the rim this is every player every player on the court is is subject to the same rule regulation of the position position they play thank you hello everyone my name is vinay i'm from great three germany i'm going to tell you about basketball rules basketball is a team sport two teams of five players each team tries to score by shooting a ball through a hoop elevated 10 feet above the ground the game is played on a rectangular floor called the court and there is a hoop at each end the basketball hoop is 3 meters above the ground thank you Hello everybody, my name is Harris Vibhu. I am studying in grade 3 Virgo. This is my badminton court model. Badminton is the fastest racket sport in the world. The game can be conducted as simples with one person on each side and doubles with two persons on each side. The same court is used for simples and doubles play. Here in my project, I have mentioned all the dimensions of the court. Thank you. Today, I'm going to talk about brief history of football. Football is the most exciting and popular outdoor game in the world. The man was responsible for the transition from this rugby league game to the sport football. We know today was Walter Camp, known as the father of American football. By the 20th century, rugby football was more commonly called rugby. The word football gets its name from name from the combination of two words, foot and ball, where the players run and kick the ball on their feet. The game football is commonly called soccer in Australia, South Africa and North America. God of football is pretty apt nickname for Lionel Messi. Football is a game that encourages physical and mental strength. Thank you. My name is Ian Siju. I am from class 3 Libra. Today, I am presenting about football rules. Football rules by Ian Siju and Alan Kaya 3 Libra. Football is also called soccer. Football has a long history. Football. Mid-color, 
reform started in England in the middle of 19th century. This is a football stadium. Football field. In football, two teams are playing. For example, Team A and Team B. Team A obtains the kick ball and Team B's ball first. And Team B's objective is to hit ball on Team A's ball post. In each team, there are 11 players with 3 substitutions. Even if an accent goalkeeper cannot use their hand, they have to use, use legs, head and chest. But goalkeeper can use their hand in certain areas. This red marked area is called goalkeeper area. Goalkeeper can use their hands in this area. These four players mark B called defense player and their job is to protect opponents from scoring goals. Four players mark M are called mid midfielder and their job is to protect the goal and help to move both forward. Two players mark F are called for forward or striker. Their job is to for goals. When game progress, they will move across the field. For scoring goals, players have to kick ball full smash into the net or they can direct the ball into the net by using head also. If the players hit the ball uh, outside the sideline, a certain throw. Whoever touches the ball last before going outside the opponent team will get chance to throw in the ball. If the ball crosses the goal line and before going outside it touches by attacking team result, the goalkeeper can kick from a goal area into the field. Before crossing the goal line, if it, is, if it touches defending team members result in corner kick. Opposite team can kick the ball from corner area. Fouls if defense player tackle opponent's player badly result in foul. So the player who spoon fouls the free will give yellow card and this is one. If player got two yellow card in the game means red card and this player has to leave the ground. For serious faults, referee will give red card directly. For fouls in penalty area, opponent's team will get penalty kick. Opponent's team can kick from penalty mark. Penalty means high chance for scoring goals. Only goalkeeper can defend the kick. Offside position. A player in offside position. If the ball is played to them in the opposing team's half and there is no opposing player between them and the opposing goalkeeper during the sequence of play. Total time of a football game is 90 minutes to half of 45 minutes. Injury time of 1 to 8 minutes added to clock. If the match got tied, then an extra time of 30 minutes will be if the match tie again. Then go for penalty kick. Each team will get 5 penalty kicks. Team which score more goals will win the match. Thank you for watching my presentation. of volleyball. Volleyball was invented in 1995 by William G. Morgan, physical director of YMCA in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Now, rules of volleyball. First, rules is 
six players in each team three player in three player in front row three player in back row second rule maximum three eight per side third rule player may not hit the ball twice fourth rule a ball hitting and boundary it is in and fifth row and when a ball hitting and antenna it is out thank you hi my name is ethan john i am studying at grade 3 ad today i am going to tell about history of volleyball volleyball was invented in 1895 william g morgan was the founder of volleyball the first name of volleyball was mintonen the first country outside the united states to adopt volleyball was canada in 19 since 1964 volleyball has been a part of the summer olympics held at tokyo rules of volleyball there will be six players on the floor three in the front row and three in the back row maximum of three hits per side it is legal to contact the ball with any part of a player body it is illegal to catch hold or throw the ball thank you for watching the video hi guys my name is ahmed nayab i study in grade three taurus i am going to tell you about rules of handball game We play handball game with our hand. There are seven players in one team. Six are the field players and one is the goalkeeper. And there are two referees in the game. There are six important rules of handball. First. Is six meter line. No handball player other than the goalkeeper is allowed in the goal area inside the six meter line. Second is free throws in handball. In handball, free throws all players are required to stay three meter away from the person taking free throws. Third is handball fouls. No tripping, pushing, hitting, clinching is used in handball game. Fourth is double dribble. Handball player cannot receive the ball and bounce it and hold it and again bounce it. This is called double dribble and is against rule. Fifth one is kicking. Handball players. Other than the goalkeeper must not kick the ball if the ball touch if the ball will touch the foot the chance will be given to the other team now i am going to tell you about walking if a handball player takes more than 3 steps without bouncing the ball or holds the ball for more than 3 seconds without bouncing it the the chance will be given to the other team thank you guys hope you enjoy my project bye morning my dear friends and my respected teachers my name is samson chaji matthew i am studying in grade 3 leo this is my project task of international cricket stadium Now I am going to say about brief history of cricket. Cricket has a long history spanning from the 16th century to the present day. Cricket had started as a child game later it was played by adults also. 
Cricket was first played in the sheep grassing lands of South East England. A stick and a ball of sheep's wool were the first play equipment in cricket. The word cricket came from the old English word crunch, meaning crunch. The first official rules of cricket were written in 1788. The Mary Liboni Cricket Club was the first cricket team in the world. This, the first recorded game of cricket was played in Lord's Ground. In 1793, this is some use of Lord's Ground. The International Cricket Association was formed in 1909 which is the governing body of cricket. The first Cricket World Cup was played in 1975 and the winners were the West Indies teams. Now, there are three formats of cricket match. First one is Test Match. It is inning by inning game. Second one is 2020 Match. It is 20 overs game. Third one is one day match. It is 50 overs game. This is a short history of cricket. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Sharna from Great Three Leo. Today I am going to tell about few cricket rules. To play cricket, you need two teams of 11 players. A ball, a bat and wicket. So, goal of the game is to score more runs than the other team. Toss the coin to decide which team will bat first. The first batting team will send two players into the ground. While the other team balls and fields the ball in the second innings. The Bowling team will become batting team and tries to outscore the other team. Good morning. My name is Tejasi Sandosh. I am great for Aries. Now I am presenting about the hockey team rules. There are two teams. Each team with 11 members including goalkeeper players hit the ball with the flat side of their stick. A goal can be scored either from a penalty corner or penalty stroke. Hockey players may not trip, push and chance. Players must be properly attended, shine guards mouth guards, no jewellery, etc. A, a field hockey match consists, consists of two halves usual 35 minutes each. Thank you everyone. Teachers and my beloved friends, my name is Tutikana Prashant from Great Board Aries. Today, I am going to talk about history of hockey and its origins. The roots of hockey are buried deep in history. The ball and stick games are, on, are almost as old as civilization itself. Games played with curved sticks and a ball can be found in the histories of many cultures. Historical records show that a crude form of the game was played in Egypt 4,000 years ago and in Ethiopia around 10,000 BC. While an ancient form of the game was also played in Iran around 2000 BC. 
Various museums offer evidence that a form of the game was played by the Romans and Greeks several centuries before Columbus arrived in the New World. The modern game of hockey emerged in England in the 18th century. The first hockey association was formed in the UK in 1876. Uh, at the mid 1980s, it was generally accepted that hockey derived ice hockey derived from English field hockey uh, that was spread throughout Canada and British soldiers in the mid 1800s. By the 19th century, the various forms of the various forms and divisions of historic games begin to form into a into the individual sports defined today thank you and have a great day hi my dear friends and teachers i am abhijit kalta studying in studying in grade 4 gemini hope you are interested to know more about tennis Tennis is a game that can be played in a rectangular court between two or four people. Playing in singles is singles and playing in doubles is double. You can see many lines on the court. This is the double side line. Single side line, base line and the service line. The net divides the court into two. For, for two players or two teams, you can also see a box service, service box, service box. Here you can see two famous players in the court playing a singles match. You can see the umpire who sits in a tall chair at the side of the court near the net. The of, who is a, he is an official who is in overall charge of the match. Now, let us have a look on the rules of tennis. Tennis Rules by Abhijit Kalta, Great for Gemini. Rules governed by the International Tennis Federation ITF. The court. Shape should be rectangle. For single matches, length 78 feet with 27 feet. For double matches, length 78 feet with 36 feet. Court shall be court shall be divided across by across the middle by a net suspended by a cord or metal cable, which will be attached to two net posts at a height of three and a half feet. Permanent fixtures of the court. Backstop a net to prevent the ball to go backside. Side stop a net to prevent the ball to go sideways. The stand the stands and seats and seats for spectators. The ball have a uniform outer surface consists consists of fabric cover. Weight fifty six to fifty nine point four grams. Size 6.54 to 6.86 cm. Color white or yellow. The racket. Have a frame and string. Frame shall consist of a handle and head. Score in a game. A standard game is scored as follows with the server score being called first serve. First. No point now, first point 15, second point 30, third point 40, and fourth point G. If each player has won three points, the score is a deuce. After deuce, the score is advantage for the player who wins the next point. If, the, if, if that same player wins the next point, the player wins the game. Score in a set. The first player to win six games win that set, provided there's a margin of two games over the opponent. If necessary, the set the set shall continue until the margin is achieved. Score in a match. A match can be played 
of the best of three sets. A player needs to win two sets to win the match or the or, or to the best of five sets. A player needs three to win three sets to win the match. Server and receiver. The players shall stand up opposite sides of the net. The server is the player who puts the ball into play for the first point. The receiver is the player who is ready to, to return the ball served by the server. Thank you. from the four Gemini and I'm going to tell you about the origins of tennis history. The origins of tennis, the history of tennis game was developed from 12th century French handball game called Palm with the hand. After some time, Palm game produced handball, J the Palm, game of the Palm and there were used rackets. Thank you. Today I am going to say about table tennis. Ta tennis is a game played between two or four players in a rectangular, rectangular court. The player uses a mesh, uh, mesh racket to snap the furry ball back and forward until, the, until someone misses. When this happens, the winner gets 15 points and the loser gets nothing, which is called love. Serving is the first thing you learn in tennis. This is when you learn in tennis. You slam the ball over the net for first time. There are two ways to return the server hand and the back hand. Forehand is when you swing the racket round in fourth the in fourth the swing racket round both of you. For the backhand you just bring the racket from the rear with a powerful swing motion than you. Namaste. Welcome to Eureka 2021. My name is Sujit. I am studying in grade 4 Taurus. Today I am going to explain about Table Tennis. The game was invited in England at 20th century. Originally called Ping Pong. Thank you. Have a good, have a good day and have a good year. Thank you. Good evening to all. My name is Suryan Sood of Class 5 Gemini. Today, I'm going to explain the history of squash. Squash was invented in Harvard School around 1815 when the pupils discovered that a puncture racket ball which squashed on impact with the wall produced a game with a greater variety of shots and required more effort on the part of the players who could not simply wait for the ball to bounce back to them as with rackets. The variant proved popular, and in 1864, the first four squash courts were constructed at the school, and squash was officially founded as a sport in its own right. Thank you. Good morning everyone, my name is Jerry from Grade 5 Taurus. Today I am going to talk about rules of golf. The things we need to play golf is clubs and balls. Uh, play the ball while it is lying. You are not, uh, not allowed to kick 
or move uh, to a kick the ball or move to a better spot. The player farthest to the hole is supposed to play uh, to play first. Hit the ball um, once in one stroke. If you lost the ball, you will get penalty. Identify your ball before you play. If you hit any other ball, you will get two stroke penalty. If you move the ball while searching, there is no penalty. You have three minutes to find your ball. If water or wind moves the ball, you can hit in a new spot. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Navishka from Five Thoughts, and I'm going to speak about golf. Golf is a club and ball sport in which players use various clubs to hit balls into a series of holes. Golf, unlike most ball games, cannot and does not utilize a standardized playing area and coping with the varied terrains encountered on different courses is a key part of the game. The game at the usual level is played on a course with an arranged progression of 18 holes, though recreational courses can be smaller often having 9 holes. Golf is played for the lowest number of strokes by an individual known as stroke play or the lowest score on the most individual holes in a complete round by an individual or a team known as match play. The modern game of golf originated in 15th century Scotland. The 18th hole round was created at the old course at St. Andrews in 1764. Thank you. Good evening everyone. I am Hafsa from Great Five Taurus. Today I am going to tell you about history of golf game. The modern game of golf Golf originated in 15, uh, 15th century Scotland. The game, the the game or old or origins are unclear and much debated. In 1764, the uh, Scotland 18 hole uh, old golf course was created it at St. Andrews. St. Andrews. The world's old the world's old the, the world's oldest golf tournament and is the open championship play it in Scotland since 17 October 1860. On behalf of Navishka and myself, F rules of golf, the underlining principle of the golf rules is, is fairness. You can carry a, you can carry a maximum of 14 clubs. You must finish a whole with the ball you started. You should swing at the ball and miss it completely. That counts as one shot. The ball should be played as it is found. Thank you.
Today I am talking about history of rugby. Rugby is originated from the rugby school war in 1883. When during the game of football, Mr. William Rugby is decided to pick up a ball and go into the, form the formation of rugby football in England, officially formed in 1871. The code of rugby union was raised three years. The first set of written rules in 1845. The first Rugby World Cup was played in 1987 and was held in Australia. In 1991, England hosted the second World Cup and losing to Australia in final. Now I am talking about Rugby rules. Each Rugby team consists of 15 players. There are 8 forwards forward, forwards and 7 backs. The game is broken down into 40 minutes, half with rest in period team. Each team can play with 15 players and 7 subjects. The field, field is 100 meter long and 70 meter wide. The edge shaped goal must be The game must have one trophy and two judges. Once the ball goes into touch, a line out is called up to up to seven players. Can enter a line. The attacking player must may remain behind the ball or otherwise otherwise. Good morning everyone, my name is Abdulaziz Baloz from K6 Stories. Today I am going to talk about the history and rules of Karate. The rules and history of Karate Who invented Karate? The Ruma Karate history can be traced back some 1400 years to the Ruma, founder of Zen Buddhism in Western India. The rumor is said to have introduced Buddhism into China incorporating spiritual and physical teaching methods that were so demanding that many of his disciples would drop in exhaustion. The History of Karate Karate evolved in East Asia over a period of centuries becoming systemized in Okinawa in the 17th century, probably by people forbidden to carry weapons it was imported into Japan in the 1920s. Several schools and systems developed, each favoring somewhat different techniques and training methods. The Rules of Karate The objective of karate is to defeat your opinion by utilizing punches, kicks and throws to score points. At the end of Karate Kumite, the competitor with the most points is declared the winner. Or before the end if they reach an 8 point lead over their opponent. 5 Katas of Karate Considered basic kata for beginning students. Hie Shondo Peaceful Mind 1st level Hie Nindo Peaceful Mind 2nd level Hie Sondo Peaceful Mind 3rd level Hie Yondo Peaceful Mind 4th level Hie Gondo Peaceful Mind 5th level Thank you
Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to talk about fencing rules. My name is Joel John from class 7 English. So let's start. Rule number one: Fencers must salute one another and the referee at the beginning and end of the boot. With failure to do so, can result in the loss of a point or suspension. Rule number two: Points are scored by hitting your opponent in accordance with the specific requirements or the type of weapon being used. Rule number three. In foul strikes outside the target area can stop the contest before you resume at first however strikes with the blade do not stop the action the later rule also applies rule number 4 barging the opponent using your hand to cover the target zone or foot faults can lead to a point penalty at the referee's discretion rule number 5 fencing competitors must wear the necessary proper equipment including a face mask a fencing jacket a pair of fencing pants to protect their legs and pen a fencing glove that covers their sleeve on squad arm thank you and have a nice day fencing history fencing is now a sport but in the past it was much more than that it was a form of combat it was not something with rules it was simply meant to survive With the passage of time, the swords themselves were also changing and ended up appearing very different types of swords. Since the Middle Ages, around the beginning of the 15th century, schools began to emerge which taught various techniques and styles to soldiers that they would become more and more skillful with the sword through throughout Europe, Germany, France, and Italy. Fencing weapons or swords, as I said, with the passage of time. swords themselves were also changing and ended up appearing very different types of swords these swords emerged over time and also due to the abandonment of the sword with the appearance of firearms in 1896 in the first modern or big games fencing was one of the sports that were present since the fencing has been a lot of modernity to the various people foil epi sabre being added over time as well as the participation of women in the olympics epi The sword, unlike foil and sabre, is a stiffer weapon, and this brings advantage to the high players and takes that advantage that the most versatile having in the other category. This fact is proven, making use of its height to have a greater reach. With the sword, the whole body is valid for the attack, so the position should be more right and not too flexed because so the knee. is far ahead and this would be a visible weakness for the player sabre this weapon is most flexible of all to the point that it almost looks like a bit when shaken with force and this makes even blocking the blade can blend on your weapon and touch him the same the sabre matches are quite fast and that why it is takes a lot of dexterity and physical ability not only for this but also because unlike the other others that only counts the touch with the tip it can touch with any part of the blade i am imanel from grade 7 aids thank you judo by ahmed khalifa mohammed riswan Great Seven Dons. A martial art. Judo was created in 1882 by Jigoro Kano as a physical, mental, and moral pedagogy in Japan. With its origin coming from Jutsu, Judo's most prominent feature is its competitive element, where the objective is to either throw or take down an opponent to the ground, immobilize or otherwise subdue an opponent with a pin, or force an opponent to submit with a joint lock or choke. Rules of judo: Intentionally injuring an opponent is not permitted. The technique known as kawazu geek is not permitted. Kawazu geek is a technique in which, in which the opponent strikes at the opponent's legs to make him fall down and win an ikko. Etiquette: Contestants must bow before stepping onto the mat. Contestants must bow to each other before and after practice or competition. 
according to the rules in you starting at 17 2017 the last follows awarding of ipon one full point awarding of ipon decides in india lends the match ipon is awarded for successful throw performed with control and power or for a pin lasting 20 seconds submission by strangulation or application of an arm lock at the elbow joints also results in ipon the following rules are no longer in use awarding of yuko and awarding of poka Penalties. Two types of penalties may be awarded. A shino is awarded for a minor rule infringement. A shino can also be awarded for a prolonged period of non-aggression. The competition area must be padded with tatami, a Japanese style rule carpet. Grips. Rules related to grips are primarily motivated by the desire to avoid stalling, to avoid providing undue advantage, or to reduce the chance of injury. G. The uniform rules in judo. The rules related to G are primarily related either to safety or to prevent conditions from wearing keys and prevent their opponent from being able to get a grip on them. Age. Judo competitions typically have some safety rules related to age.